Hi, I wanted to give an update on the hand tracking prototype I'm working on for the Vision Pro, where hand tracking could potentially be used uh, as a musical instrument. So, the previous video had a full skeleton model sort of being uh, rendered with just boxes and there was no functionality attached. And I've experimented with a few different ways of interacting with that data. So now when I bring my hands in immersive space, I have spheres that appear at the tips of my fingers. Um, this is very likely not going to be the final way it's going to be represented, but it's an easy way for me to evaluate what's possible. So when the hands are facing away from me, the right hand will have green spheres, the left hand blue spheres. Now if I orient the hand towards me, now the right hand has yellow spheres and the left hand purple spheres. This basically gives me two modal states, which augments, basically multiplies by two the possibilities of each hand. So my current ID is your left hand would be selecting octaves. So this would be the first octave, second octave, third and fourth. And then your right hand would be selecting notes. So I would be playing one octave here and this is C, D, E, F, rotated towards you, G, A, B and C. So that's one octave you just played in a particular scale. And now you can select the second octave and do the same thing again. So that is playing notes. Um, not very expressive. You're just triggering on and off switches. Um, and I will be using the velocity at which the fingers are uh, traveling towards each other. Now it becomes really cool. I think once I add expression here, so I'm selecting the first octave, I'm selecting a note, and now as I move away, you will see there's a cylinder appears that um, depicts the distance from the new position towards where the notes started. And this could be pitch bent. So I could do vibrato in any direction and then pitch bent far away if I wanted to. And this would work for any note that I'm playing, right? Now, on the left-hand side, I can do the same thing. And if it would be inspired by a theremin model, like this could then be volume if you wanted to, um, but it could be set up as something else. It could be filter cutoff. So I'll be playing a C, like vibrato it, and then like express the filter cutoff with the other hand. So this is where I'm at now. I think this is really promising. I have some other ideas where I would be touching both hands together, maybe to select different scales. Maybe there is even like a whole bunch of different combos that can be uh, done here. I've only also only like thought of selecting four octaves here, which would be sufficient to play most melodies. Not sure what would happen with the other side of the left hand. Um, if you have any ideas, I'd be very interested to know what you think and how you think this could evolve. Now, next up is hooking up a simple sine wave oscillator um, and a simple filter to see how this feels and if it's actually musically usable. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you.